I was very fortunate in that Carolyn was so receptive um, to our feedback and also to our ideas that we had. In the case that students perhaps feel like there is a significant power balance there, sure, offer your ideas, but also bear in mind that um, that you're there to sort of progress their sort of learning curriculum. Any advice I would give to student partners who may be de deliberating whether or not they should get into a student partnership or who are about to um, is to do it. It is a fantastic experience that um, isn't offered by most universities. It gives you insight into your course and into your university that you wouldn't otherwise have. Um, I think it's really important to be aware of the power dynamic. Um, and, and I think that was, a, that, that was a thing that was always sort of omnipresent for me, was that I really wanted to make sure that I stepped back enough to allow um, my partners enough space and scope to, to create what, what, they, what they thought was right and relevant and meaningful and, and not to sort of take over that process and tell them exactly what to do, um, yet to provide them with enough direction so that they're not wasting time. Make sure you establish those lines of communication early with your team. So that means making sure there's, uh, the group understands when other people's availabilities are, making sure that you are finding times to regularly meet and keeping those lines of communication open to, uh, to make sure you are achieving uh, the tasks that you have set out in the, in the Student Star Partnership. To give it a go. And these would be the same tips that I'll give to, to staff that might be reluctant to give it a go is that we were all students at one time. So I always say for those staff members that were are reluctant to engage in student staff partnerships, I ask that remember your time and our time as students and remember that you know that one subject that we really wanted to make the difference or something within a subject that we thought that we could really make a change. And being able to put ourselves in our own shoes as students as well as staff is probably the greatest tip that I can give to staff that are reluctant. So if it's going to be partnership, uh, it's got to be something that you do kind of incrementally, I think, over a long period of time and that you kind of bake into the, the ordinary business of your program or your school or your research agenda or whatever it is. Um, that makes a partnership because that makes it kind of enduring. So start small and kind of incrementally build it up would be my, my advice.